Good morning. It's Sunday the 14th, and I was re-reviewing your discussion board on jargon, and I thought it was so interesting. I just wanted to uh, make a, uh, a YouTube video so I don't have to do... It's easier to share my thoughts this way. Uh, Jim starts out by talking about the jargon of politics, and certainly right now uh, in this election we're hearing a lot of jargon. Uh, Ashley talks about sports, and particularly in baseball. Uh, that's a, a good observation in that area. Sandra goes on to say, CYA means see you around. In my day, it meant another, word, another acronym, and it wasn't see you around. But the one that gets me the most is several people mentioned LOL. I had a friend that for years ago who kept ending her emails to me with LOL. And finally I said to her, why are you wishing me lots of luck? So there you go. Uh, you have to be careful when using abbreviations and jargon because they do have, as in CYA and uh, LOL, alternative meanings. Katie talks about the uh, restaurant business uh, and the language they use to shorten and emphasize the orders they take. True, I hadn't thought of that. Now Morgan, <laughs> another funny one about her high school sports team creating their own form of pig Latin to communicate so the other players <laughs> couldn't understand what they were talking about. Now, Michael talks about Armin, Army uh, jargon and abbreviations. Uh, and he says, our, our language sees a lot of jargon in the form of acronyms. Yes, I worked around the military when I was at the U.S. Embassy in Ankara, and that is true. Lots and lots of acronyms. Uh, Kyle posted a, a YouTube link to an Old Spice commercial, and I thought it was a real good commercial, but Kyle, I didn't get how it connected to abbreviations, but... It's pretty awesome commercial. Rachel talks about the abbreviations used in a law office. Awesome. And Deidre at a hospital. And that made me think, of, you know, I think it's not uncommon to sit with your doctor and he or she tells you what's wrong and you don't understand anything they're saying because they're all using medical terminology. To me, the worst offender of this is IT departments. They talk face to face and in written internal communications as if they are talking to another IT specialist. So most of it's to me totally not understood. What a waste of time. And I, I do think that Deidre's got a good point here when she says LOL and FAQ are used so often that you don't think of them as jargon anymore. True, true. Ashley shares about the jargon at the uh, DMV. Uh, I believe that too. Uh, Jennifer did something interesting. She put a link to a uh, article about the jargon of press releases, and I'd never thought of that before. And that was a pretty interesting article. Travis gets into commodities trading uh, in the grain industry. And while I have no knowledge of that industry, I f fully believe that that industry, as in all niche jobs, uh, use jargon and tons of abbreviations. Frederick talks about law enforcement and the jargon in, in law enforcement. And I think, you know, if, if only from TV shows, we're made aware of that. Once when I was in the government, I was on the elevator with my boss, and she and I were with a third person who was visiting us at the State Department. My boss went off into a sentence that was 100% abbreviations, 100% acronyms. I've never forgotten that. Remember who you're communicating to. 
you're communicating to somebody perhaps that's not a specialist in what you're a specialist in, your communications should always be to the stakeholder in the language and meaning they live with. Thank you.